You just got Jimmered. Jimmer for Dad has become a big time college basketball star at BYU. Jimmer Mania, Jim's sanity, call it what you want, but it's all his fault. Jimmer Mania was a phenomenon and unlike anything BYU fans had ever seen. There's one iconic image that encapsulates exactly what Jimmer Mania was. You probably know the photo. It was taken during the BYU vs. San Diego State game on January 26, 2011. I'm Gabby Stockard, and I'm going to take you through the oral history of the photo. I talked to as many people as I could that played a part in this image. So let's dive in. The photographer of the photo, Kirk Morrison, is a former NFL football player, current ESPN analyst, and San Diego State Aztec fan. You may recognize him. He was on the call this season for BYU's game against Western Kentucky. That was the last time that I was in Provo, Utah, but this time I went as a fan and I kept hearing about this thing called Jimmer Mania. While visiting Sundance with his friends, he noticed his Aztecs were in town and playing BYU. He then snapped this iconic photo on his Blackberry. Kirk posted the photo on Twitter, but had no idea it would gain as much traction as it has. It kind of shows exactly what our team and myself went through my senior year. But why is this image so iconic? Well, for starters... They're calling it the biggest game in Mountain West history, Don. The biggest game in the history of BYU basketball in Provo. It was the first ever top 10 versus top 10 game inside the Marriott Center. BYU came in nine, San Diego State came in four. Both teams were undefeated in league. San Diego State was one of two undefeated teams nationally. They were 20 and 0, BYU was 19 and 1. So it was the biggest game of the night, one of the biggest games of the year, and it was happening in Provo. Everyone wanted to be at this game. Students wanted to be there so bad that they camped out for days in advance. I remember it being, you know, dark and cold at times, but like you would have waited in the frozen tundra, which it mostly was, but you felt like you earned it. The stadium was electric and one of the loudest events ever held at the Marriott Center. A sellout crowd of nearly 23,000 was packed into the stadium to see the showdown of the year. Oh, and the signs, <laughs> lots and lots of signs. Everybody had signs. I mean, I had a sign <laughs> that said Kemba for POY. We're dead about it. Not only was it two top 10 teams going head to head, it was Jimmer versus Kawhi. The first half was neck and neck, and the Cougars only trailed by one at the end of the half. Jimmer had 20 of BYU's 30 points. Then in the second half, the Jimmer show really kicked in. But towards the end of the game, we started to pull away, getting up to close to double digits. You know, I remember hitting a big shot, a big three-pointer, and then turning to the crowd and just screaming. For Tapley hit it! You know, as loud as I could and yelling at him and getting everyone as hype as I could because I knew at that point we were gonna win the game. It was just kind of this ridiculous shot that he just he had he kind of forced it up probably 30 feet away. And I remember, you know, turning around, looking up, and there were some reporters and some of my coworkers behind me. We were all just kind of like in awe. And we're supposed to be, you know, very calm and more or less impartial, but it was just kind of like in awe of what he was doing. It was the beginning of the end. BYU began to pull away and the crowd was ready. He ends up with 43 of 71 points. All of a sudden in the buzzard sound, and then there was just a mass amount of people that were just hopping the, the railings and coming down and trying to congratulate us. The hype surrounding this game finally exploded onto the court, and it was chaos. We were like, we got to get on the court. I remember rushing down there, like you had to jump down, and then there were some chairs. You kind of had to climb over there. They are just a bunch of happy white Mormons that they just can't contain themselves. Storming the court, I feel, is a, is a rite of passage for certain games, you know, and it was definitely one of those games where you had the right of passage. For a moment, I was like, oh, geez, I don't want to get in trouble for this, but I was like, I don't, I don't even care. This is too big. Even when you lose, moments like that are special. You know, your team lost, but it's still, wow, this is college basketball. This is college sports. This is really neat. And everyone went straight for Jimmer. I was at first like, oh, high-fiving people and thinking that it was going to be really, really awesome, exciting. And then all of a sudden, I was engulfed by a bunch of these people and they were pulling me. And Two fans even attempted to pick him up. And at that point, I was like, oh, you know, I should probably get out of here because this is this is starting to get a little dangerous over here. We thought, okay, we can't we can't sustain this. We've got to we we can't stay where we are. We can't get him where he needs to be. We got to you know, Plan B has to come quickly. And once I got behind the scores table, I felt secure because no one could get back there. They kind of had the security block it off. And then I was kind of looking out, you know, in this sea of people that were all looking at me. 
and uh, wanting to, you know, get to me, which was, you know, a feeling that uh, I'd never really felt before. And that's when Kirk whipped out his Blackberry and snapped the photo. I'm probably about four or five rows up from the scores table. And so me just taking that picture because every student was trying to celebrate with him, was trying to give him a hug, it was, it was unreal. I was thinking, oh, some photographer was really smart to get a shot from way up above. Yeah, that was a good shot. I rather would have been the one taking the photo up above than being the one up down in front getting smashed. You hear you have the hero and all of his fans. You see the looks on the eyes of those BYU fans. It's just like, that is our guy. There is Jimmer, and he just led us to the promised land. I mean, he is a, he was a star, and he delivered at a great moment. It was pretty cool. It felt like you were on top of the world. People were trying to, to come and just get a piece to touch your hand or to say good job and, and to show their appreciation. But the fans were continuing to close in. The scores table was on wheels and being pushed. The San Diego State radio broadcasters were nearly knocked off the air. I remember walking when I got down to the end, I'm walking in the tub where I just, man, I hope, I hope our security can handle what's going on out there. It was time for plan C. Jimmer was snuck out behind the table and then through a tunnel that went behind the court. But that wasn't the end. My life pretty much changed instantly overnight at that game. I normally, you know, after a game, I would go out to the court and see my family and see my girlfriend at the time, Whitney and her family, and just kind of hang out and then walk out the front doors to our car. But at, at that point, they came back to the locker room and they were telling me that I can't go back out to the floor because there were still thousands of people out there waiting for me. Jimmer was instructed to call Whitney to get her car and drive it under the stadium. When officers radioed to Lieutenant Rose that it was safe, he brought Jimmer to his car and Jimmer was able to drive off. And while all this was going on, Jimmer was getting a whole lot of praise on social media. At that point, Twitter had just, just barely started. And I didn't even have a Twitter at the time. And after that game, I was like, I should probably get one. NBA superstar Kevin Durant tweeted that Jimmer was the best scorer in the world. Rapper Nelly urged his followers to watch Jimmer because he is definitely the truth. And literally the whole nation was watching it. I mean, people wanted to, to watch this basketball game. You know, you get kind of a sense of that after, you know, I was able to get on social media and Twitter and, and see all those people tweeting at me. So there you have it. One of the best games in BYU history summed up by a pixelated photo and an amazing memory that now hangs in Jimmer's home. That feeling of winning and being on top of the mountain is is what you play for as a professional, as, a, as an athlete. So when I was standing behind the scorer's table and I was looking out at this sea of people all staring at me and chanting and being able to feel that was, you know, why I put in all the work in the summer and why I did all of this stuff that I did growing up. So that moment is something that is ingrained in my mind and I, I have a picture of it in our house of that game specifically and, and it's a really cool picture, really cool thing that I've been able to remember and, and uh, something I'll never forget.